Greetings, Divine Radiance. Welcome to your Tuesday Tips and Tools with me, Nikila Asha of Ashmore Scott Life Sculpting. I'm a divine, divine, divine interpreter, psychic life coach, and mentor. Why was I talking like that? I don't even know, but we're going to keep going. I'm a divine interpreter, psychic life coach, and mentor, assisting you with activating the divinity and wisdom within your soul so that you are empowered to create and live an abundant life. So for today's Tuesday Tip and Tool, I like to share something with you that spirit just literally gave to me to share. And that is, we have been getting the message to really be mindful of our energy, right? To pay attention to what our own energy feels like so that we're aware when there is outside interference that is hindering our own energy. I'm also hearing or elevating our own energy. But here's the thing. So as things are moving and shifting in my life, right? It's happening in my personal life, my business life, and just life in general for me. I was being really, really still, right? And I felt this feeling that mimics anxiety, right? It can even mimic fear, right? And when I release the attachment of identifying right giving it a name and i just allowed myself to feel it without judging it right what i was feeling was the movement that's happening right and anytime something that is settled is disturbed it can feel a little uncomfortable right so think about a cup of water, a glass of water. That water is still, it's not moving. And then when you shake it up, what does it do? It starts to move all around and look all, you know, frantic like me right now, right? The water looks frantic, yes, right? But what's happening is oftentimes we're mixing up. Say you put some protein powder in your water, right? You're mixing it. You're integrating that powder that serves your highest good with the water that was still. So what Spirit is saying is, another reason why it's so important for us to get in touch with our own energy and to really feel without judging, to feel without labeling, is because often in our lives, what we've been doing is we have been misinterpreting what is actually going on, right? Because it mimics one thing, we label it, we judge it, and now we're in a vibrational frequency of whatever we labeled it as or whatever we're judging it as. But if we'll be still and feel, and it's almost like having a complete thought, right? But if we allow ourselves to have a complete feel, we'll be able to identify it's not any of those things. It's the movement, right? It's the movement. It's our manifestations being integrated into our current state of being. So Spirit is saying, if you haven't been meditating, it's time to start doing it daily. If you haven't been absorbing, okay, absorbing was coming through, so we're going to say it, absorbing your own energy, right? What I was hearing was observing, but they also brought through absorbing. So if you haven't been observing and absorbing your own energy, it's time. Because if you're not familiar with your own energy, then you won't be familiar when there's something that is in your energetic field that does not serve your highest good. You'll just take it on and you'll identify it as something that's yours, right? So this is really, really a simple tip and tool and it's really powerful, right? So the way that you get to that point of being able to identify when it's the integration process happening on your journey is through meditation, right? Through connecting to your own energy through your sacred sacred breath by being still and feeling releasing judgment releasing labels and just feeling right you're connected and you have the ability to receive so spirit will let you know what's happening we've been stressed and worried for far too long and now it's time to feel to feel to live and let live to breathe to connect in gratitude, in love, and in light. And that is how I am connecting with you today, in gratitude, in love, and in light. And yes, comfortable as well. I have my PJs on. I went to the gym, worked out after I had my walk in the rain, and then I came on home and I took my shower and decided 
feel like being comfortable and we're all about come as you are here right so come as you are because i am coming as i am and it is all good because no matter how we come we still bring that fire right we still bring that heat we still bring that that divine light and love right that's me you we right so let's do it let's do it let's just accept ourselves this is an extra tip it's coming through an extra message but spirit is saying accept ourselves and be comfortable be comfortable in our comfort right we've been taught that sometimes we're required to look a certain way be a certain way act a certain way to be whatever label we carry and spirit is like just be just be you right just be you so that is your message today for today's Tuesday Tips and Tools. I thank you for allowing me to serve you, and I leave you with peace, love, bliss, and abundance. I'll talk to you soon. Oh, and if you didn't subscribe, go ahead and do so and turn those notifications on and check the description box. There's a lot of cool things in there. Check it out, all right? I thank you again. I'll talk to you soon.